Contrary to popular opinion, not every video editing laptop needs to be an expensive machine. Instead, the machine you choose should depend on the nature of video editing, existing skill sets, and the pecking order of the gadget, in regards to your professional hierarchy. Therefore, in this video, we have listed laptops in the $800 band. The Lenovo Yoga C740 promptly satiates your love for the convertible video editing laptops, provided you're a globetrotter or a mobile brand marketer. Lenovo houses the Intel Core i5-10210U processor under the hood that boasts of an exceptional turbo boost clock speed of up to 4.2 GHz. This attribute makes the quad-core processor suitable enough for almost every single and multi-threaded video editing process. Multitasking indulgences, temporary files, and disk caching associated with the editable videos are precisely handled by the 8GB DDR4 RAM. When it comes to the storage, the convertible stacks in a 512GB SSD module, which is responsible for faster application loading and quicker bootups associated with the Windows 10 Home OS. As a 2-in-1, the Lenovo Yoga C740 flaunts a 14-inch touchscreen display that can be best used in cohesion with the multimode form factor. However, Lenovo does offer a host of display-centric attributes, including the anti-glare panel, color-accurate Dolby Vision enhancement, and cumulative resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. Being a convertible doesn't stop the Lenovo Yoga C740 from showcasing requisite levels of functionality. The gadget showcases a wide range of productivity-centric attributes including the backlit keyboard, nifty fingerprint scanner, and amplified stereo speakers. What stands out is the ultra-portable chassis, weighing close to 3.10 pounds. Moreover, the lack of heft club with an HD webcam and serviceable microphones make it a reliable professional ally. The Acer Nitro 5 scales beyond any competition if you are looking for a mid-range video editing notebook that also doubles down as a leisure gaming hub, if and when required. When it comes to the processing support, you get access to the ever-reliable Intel Core i5-9300H. This quad-core processor supports hyper-threading and turbo-boost technologies, specifically for taking care of both multi-threaded and single-threaded video editing tasks. Therefore, you can use it for running almost every high-end video editing applications like Adobe Premiere Pro, Premiere Elements, etc. with considerable ease. Amplifying the editing performances is the 8GB RAM that processes files and data at 2666MHz. However, Acer doesn't offer significant storage space at the onset with the SSD capacity being restricted to 256GB. Then again, you are free to upgrade the same via the PCM.2 slots and the dedicated hard drive bay. Also, the SSD drive houses the Windows 10 Home OS and ensures speedy bootups, regardless of existing files and applications. When it comes to the structural footprint, the 4.85-pound Acer Nitro 5 is appropriately chunky, courtesy of the additional bells and whistles. However, this doesn't impact the port arrangement with Acer accommodating the Type-C, HDMI, USB 2.0, USB 3.1 Gen 1, and other relevant slots. Despite the battery being drained to its limit, Acer manages to churn out almost 8 hours at once. This attribute, clubbed with a beefed-up specs sheet, readily qualifies this laptop as one of the best budget video editing laptops in the retail space. The Asus TUF FX505DT is a rugged, powerful, and reasonably priced video editing laptop, best known for the AMD-powered processing setup. Also, the laptop might look chunkier than usual but still weighs less than 5 pounds. Asus finally shuns the Intel-powered processing setup for the AMD Ryzen 5 3550H chipset. While the processor heats up a fair bit, the boosted clock speed of up to 3.7 GHz makes it a reliable resource for diverse video editing tasks. However, you also get a GTX 1650 graphics card, which readily assists the existing processor when GPU accelerated processes are concerned. With 4GB VRAM to show for, the NVIDIA TAG GPU supports better color scoping, grading, and other graphics-intensive performances. Nonetheless, the GTX 1650 also allows you to indulge in mid-level gaming, sans lags, or frame drops. ASUS also houses 8GB RAM for efficient video editing and multitasking followed by a restrictive storage capacity of 256GB. The existing SSD module, however, is known for the quick startups and fastest possible Windows 10 Home OS bootups. The featured, 15.6-inch display doesn't come with several thrills barring a cumulative resolution count of 1920 by 1080 pixels. While the bezels are still on the larger side, the existing screen, as tested by our experts, flaunts sharper viewing angles. 
If you are a seasoned professional, the TUF FX505 DT has a lot of innovative specs to offer, including the stereo speakers with surround sound support, a backlit keyboard, and a standard thermal layout. Regardless, the ASUS TUF FX505 DT is one of the chunkier gadgets on the list, fittingly equipped with USB 3.1 Type-A, USB 2.0, and other relevant slots. Connectivity-wise, you get access to BT 5.0 and Wi-Fi 5 support. However, we were slightly dejected by the paltry 5-hour battery backup, which trims down the portability quotient of the concerned video editing laptop. As a video editor on the move, you can rely on the MSI GF63 Thin for your mobile professional indulgences. Despite being a thin laptop, the MSI GF63 doesn't cut corners, when processing power and productivity are concerned. For starters, you get hold of the Intel Core i5-9300H processor. The featured CPU is good enough for almost every video editing function, including trimming, cropping, resequencing, and more. What works in your favor is the exceptional turbo clock speed of up to 4.1 GHz. The quad-core processor is perfectly assisted by the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card, especially when GPU-accelerated processes like encoding, frame acceleration, color grading, and color scopes are concerned. Then again, MSI introduces the Max-Q variant of the concerned GPU, which is slightly underpowered and heats up less when compared to the vanilla variant. Coming to the system memory, you get access to 8GB RAM. While the existing chunk suffices when mid-level editing processes are concerned, you can consider upgrading the same to 64GB RAM, if and when necessary. Storage requirements are addressed by the 256GB SSD. Next in line is the durable backlit keyboard, perfectly supplemented by the navigable and smooth touchpad, powerful speakers, 720p webcam, and a sleek chassis featuring brushed aluminum. At 4.1 pounds, this is easily one of the lightest video editing clamshells in the market. Also, as a mid-level professional, you can reap the benefits of the relevant connectivity suite, featuring one Type-C and three USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports followed by the Intel-powered Wi-Fi 5 standard and other resources. However, despite stacking in Max-Q GPU and other dainty attributes, the MSI GF63 Thin doesn't compromise on the thermal layout, which is best characterized by the Cooler Boost 5 support. Besides, optimal thermal performances also allow the battery to churn out close to 8 hours of backup, thereby furthering the portability quotient. The Lenovo Idea Pad L340 is arguably the best video editing laptop that you can get your hands on for around $800. Regardless of the midrange price tag, there are enough productivity specs to rely on for making video editing a highly rewarding professional experience. At the core, the Lenovo Idea Pad L340 showcases the moderately powerful Intel Core i5-9300H processor. Despite exhibiting quad-core architecture, this laptop can handle a majority of editing processes and the concerned logic with ease. Besides, the maximum turbo clock speed of up to 4.1 GHz qualifies the mobile soap for a majority of single-threaded editing tasks, including exposure adjustment, B-roll trimming, and more. Viewport rendering, color grading, and video transcoding can be effortlessly initiated with the GTX 1650 GPU at the helm. Clubbed with 4GB of video RAM, the dedicated graphics card can use the CUDA cores working in parallel to speed up exports and frame rendering. The 8GB DDR4 RAM might not be a professional resource but can suffice almost every midrange video editing requirement. When it comes to storage, the 512GB SSD is sufficient enough for storing myriad files, completed projects, and the relevant media. As far as the laptop display is concerned, the 15.6-inch FHD anti-glare panel is a reliable professional resource. Furthermore, the existing screen exhibits an overall resolution of 1920x1080, making it vibrant and fairly color accurate. The connectivity suite is top-notch with Lenovo incorporating the Type-A, Type-C, HDMI 2.0, and other relevant slots into the mix followed by Wi-Fi 5 standard. Seating within is a standard battery unit, capable of churning out close to 6.5 hours of steady autonomy. Considering every aspect of a computing device, the Lenovo Idea Pad L340 comes forth as the best video editing laptop under $800, precisely by striking an excellent balance between power, portability, and productivity.